Oh my gosh, I'm so hungry. I just ate too. Anyways, uh, we're going to be talking about uh, major scale now. It's pretty exciting, getting into scales, you know, aquatics. Anyways, uh, a major scale, as we mentioned before, um, is uh, it corresponds to a diatonic di diatonic scale, which has the um, which has some characteristics of uh, you know each note not having the same name, and it, and it must um, consist of eight adjacent notes, right? So let's first write this down. The the lesson would be the major scale. Okay, so some points um, consists. of eight adjacent notes. Um, so the eighth, eighth note uh, would be the octave note, right? Um, again, like I explained about octaves, right? Because, you know, oct, the word, or the prefix oct um, uh, means eight. Um, and it also must have the requisite number of diatonic tones and semitones. So there's actually a specific pattern of how many tones, how many whole tones, and how many semitones you can have to make the major scale. Um, so the succession of notes can be divided into two parts. Each part, so half of an octave, would be a tetrachord. Okay, so succession of notes um, can be divided by two. So this makes two tetra chords. Okay, and you, you might guess the, the prefix tetra means four, right? Half of eight. Um, so a tetrachord, therefore, is a series of four notes. Now, the tetrachord itself has a, has a specific pattern. Um, let, me, uh, let me post this right here. So the tetrachord itself, right, has this specific pattern of... And let me uh, grab that piano thing again. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Um, yeah, so the pattern for the tetrachord is as follows. A whole step, or a whole tone, sorry. A whole tone, whole tone, whole tone, semitone. We'll get a tone in between, but again, uh, another one. Whole tone whole tone, semitone. So that is the pattern. Whole tone, whole tone, semitone. That is what makes a tetrachord and eventually the major scale. But uh, the four notes of a tetrachord must be in alphabetical order. So let's, let's, let's do the example of um, the major scale of C, right? This, this would be C. Uh, let's do the, the um, an example of the major scale of C. And we'll be able to clearly see that the two major tetrachords are separated by one tone, um, and let's uh, let's let's put it on a uh, a staff. Okay, uh, abracadabra. There it is. Okay, so as we can see, uh, for the this is uh, going to be the uh, the uh, major scale. Oh, I don't want to write it here actually. Major scale of C, right? Right. So this succession here is the first tetrachord, or the major tetrachord, or it's also known as the inferior, right? Because it's at the bottom of the staff. So this is the um, major. Tetrachord, right? Or it's also called uh, inferior. 
And you guessed it, this one would be called the minor tetra and also superior. And uh, again, we can clearly see that it is that uh, the two uh, major tetra chords are separated by a tone. Uh, right, this is C, D, E, F, G, um, A, B, C, right? So that's, that's the C major scale, one octave. Um, so last note, in all major scales, the semitones occur between the third and fourth notes, okay? And the seventh and eighth notes, right? So whole, whole, semi, whole, whole, semi. And uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.